In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how can I link or connect one story to another one I've read? Yesterday, we talked about how we can understand a story better when we make connections related to our own lives. Sometimes we find ourselves reading one book and thinking about another. Today, I want to show you how I can understand a story better when I connect it to another story I have read. Connections with other books can also help readers better understand the books or stories that they read. Let me show you what I mean. Yesterday, we read the book called The Relatives Came by Cynthia Ryland. While I was reading, I shared with you the many connections that I had to my own life. Today, I want to share with you some connections I made to other books I have read. Perhaps your teacher can reread this book to you again and make text-to-text -text connections with you, or you can learn from the ones suggested in this video to inspire you. Text-to-text -text connection with Little House in the Big Woods. The Relatives Came reminds me of The Little House in the Big Woods because Laura waited anxiously one time for her grandparents to arrive. It took them all day to travel by wagon to reach the Ingalls cabin. This connection helps me understand this story better because I know how excited and anxious Laura was waiting and the narrator was probably feeling the same way. Another text-to-text -text connection is with the book A Year Down Yonder. Another part in The Relatives Came reminds me of the book A Year Down Yonder and how when Mary Alice arrived, her grandmother didn't hug her at all. It is a very different kind of reception in this book, and this helps me understand the story better because they must have been incredibly close to their family to keep hugging them so much. Take a moment to think about this story. Did this remind you of other characters, events, or themes you have read in other books? Pause the video and take a moment to think, then invite students to share with the whole class. Let's return to the chart labeled Connections. On the chart, let's list some ideas that might help us in making connections as we read. One, how does one character remind you of one from another story? Two, how does a story or an event remind you of another? Three, how is the theme, message, or information in this story like another? Today's book talk book is Newbery award-winning book, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. O'Brien. Mrs. Frisbee's family is about to die unless they do something and fast. For summer is coming and they must move to their summer home. Otherwise, they will get killed by the farmer. But there is one problem. Mrs. Frisbee's youngest son, Timothy, is deathly ill and must not be moved. She decides to meet the mouse who would be able to cure her son. But there is a secret that Mrs. Frisbee doesn't know. What is that secret? Read Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim to find out. Remember, as you read for 30 to 35 minutes today, be aware of the connections you are making and how it helps you understand the story better. Write your connections on your think mark. These notes can help you as you write your reading response letter. Focus today on making text-to-text -text connections as much as possible and keep your book club discussion around the text-to-text -text connections you found while you were reading. Be sure to record what you read on your daily reading log.